Hello everyone! Welcome to the Unfiltered Gamer live stream. I'm Callie, here tonight with Michael. Yay. I know, I exist tonight to play the game Ascendancy <laughs> Quest Final for Dominance. Dangerous. And we'll I be do. playing a four player game along with Caleb. Hello. And Max. How's it going everybody? <laughs> Um, yeah, today we're playing Ascendancy Quest for Dominance. Uh, this is kind of a tactical area control game all about gathering Ascendancy, attempting to get that um, 11 points. We'll be, be playing a shorter game tonight. You can do 8 or 9 points. Yeah, he said 9 points nine. should be So we'll good. do 9 yeah. points tonight. It's just a small variation for this stream, but generally speaking, we play 11 points. Um, We've already basically set the game up. And in general, when you're playing this game, you're going to be uh, setting it up uh, as you as you set up, you're going to be basically playing it. But for the yeah. stream's sake, I've basically given each character a location to start with, and that's going to be based on where they're currently sitting, as opposed to choosing and then sitting afterwards. Yeah. Because you guys want to see my beautiful face <laughs> tonight. I'm certain of that. <laughs> um, we don't have any updates, I don't think, so we'll just go right into explaining the basic idea of the game. I'll take you down to the top-down um, mode so you can see the game being played, and uh, we'll go ahead and get started. So let's start with uh, the game, the basic idea and concept, and then as we and play, I'll explain, yeah. yes. Mm -hmm. Uh, to start the game off with, you're basically going to be building your own board, which you can kind of see here right now. Um, you're going to be placing down these tiles, and there's certain rules as to where you place them. Each of the tiles are either going to be like a mana space, some type of stats space, places for monsters, and then, of course, your own unique hero space, along with uh, one of your tower levels to start with. My character is the red guy, Brimstone Firecracker, and he starts with actually a level 2 tower, but everybody else just starts with a level 1. Uh, these are all your mana cards that will start in pile for you to gather as you attempt to gather mana from rolling dice and other ways. <laughs> You're also going to have loot cards on the table. There's going to be quests that you'll start with. We each get five, uh, and then the rest we don't need. Uh, there's going to be artifact cards. There's going to be scroll cards. And there's going to be these uh, books that basically will change the rules of the game as we play it. Each of our characters has 2 HP to start with, and uh, each of our stats start at 1, except for Max's character, Trixus, the Cunning, which is going to have a bonus of plus 1 to their defense. Uh, we're also going to have 2 dice that we'll be utilizing to roll whenever we're going to be uh, attacking. And we have our resource die. There's... Uh, these guys here are sentency points, which we, we need to win we the game. We need to win the game. <laughs> and then we're going to have um, these the skulls. These are basically souls Soul. that we can gain mm -hmm. as we defeat players, as we defeat guardians, and as we defeat monsters. And finally, we have our HP trackers for the monsters that are going to spawn in the game. So let's go ahead and first spawn the monsters in the game. Um, I will be the first player to give you guys an idea of how it works. I will take one of my die, and I'm going to roll the die. Mm -hmm. And based on the monster's number, from 1 to 5, we have Banshee, Trent, Dragon, Cerebus, uh, Cerebus and, and Gazer. And we're going to roll this die. If I get 1 through 5, I summon one of those. Otherwise, if it's a 6, I choose. 5. Uh, the Gazer spawns, and he's going to spawn on a location on the board uh, concurrent to this specific tile. So we look on the board here, and we find one of the monster spaces. It's this tile. And we right place there. it down. Okay, they can't then, see it. Yeah, it's okay. Well, we're okay. going to show you the top down in a second. Uh, and then Callie's going to take her die, or yeah, one of her dies, and roll it. If she rolls a 5, though, she's not summoning anything. A 6. You six. can choose the monster you'd like to summon. Uh, How's it going, Alex? Welcome, welcome to the stream. I will summon Banshee Trent Dragon Cerebus. Dragon? That one, dragon. Okay, yes. so this is the gold. It's going to go right here next oh, to okay. the gazer. Uh, Caleb will go ahead and roll one of his die, and we'll see what he summons. A one. That's the Banshee. The Banshee's going to go on here, and then finally Max will roll the die, and it's going to summon a five, which is the gazer, which means nothing is going to happen. You'll take your die back. And then we're going to basically get started with the game by having each player select a mana uh, shrine uh, and place it on the board in one of the mana areas. But before we do that, let's go ahead and take you top down so I can show you the board and how we finish this up before we start the game. You guys ready? Let's do it. Ready. Mm -hmm. Let's do it. <laughs> 
So we're back with the top down for the game. So you can see us place things now. And as you can see, here's the board and our starting locations, our towers, our characters, all the different monsters and the different decks, our mana decks, artifacts, scrolls, our books, and of course our loot cards. We have our ascendancy points, we have our skulls for souls, and we have our damage for the monsters. And resource die. Which we'll be mm -hmm. using on our turn. Uh, we've actually brought each of our character boards, which will show our stats for attack, defense, and our guardian stats. And then we have our different guardians that will be on their locations. And um, I've got our extra tower, attack, attack towers here. And this is, of course, our player reference, which explains what we need in order to level up our towers, in order to uh, summon new mana shrines, spell cards, and artifacts. And of course, we each have five magical quests that we can undertake. These are going to hopefully be giving us ascendancy, as well as spell cards, etc., etc., when we accomplish them. And when there's tiers of them, so we can actually accomplish them uh, multiple times if we're able to do so. Um, mm. Or multiple tiers well, of, of... Multiple objectives yes. to go after on the mm. same card. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and place our mana shrines now. And like I said, I would start. And I can place anywhere on the board, my mana shrine. This is going to allow me to generate a mana of the type in which I place it on. And I'm going to choose to place it on... Hmm. Well, I've got red to start with because my character is red and that's my space specific oh. starting location. Yeah. I will place it on purple. Okay. And uh, that's it for me. Go ahead, Kelly. Okay, I'm gonna go for green. <clears throat> and I'm gonna go for purple. All right, and Max, go ahead and place yours out. I am actually gonna be going for red. Great, so we've all placed our mana shrines. Yep. Success. Now, uh, Caleb's special. Caleb <laughs> is... Uh, Sabrine the Spirit Walker, and Sabrine has a unique ability. Do you remember what that is? Should I tell you? Mm -hmm. Okay, the, yes, the Spirit Walker has control of the spirit. You can place the spirit in an adjacent space next to either your starting tower or next to a mana shrine of your, that you control. That Spirit Walker is going to either give you a bonus to it's going to give you a bonus to your stat if you choose a space that's adjacent to your shrine that has a stat upgrade. Like for instance, if you placed it here, it would increase your a defense. defense. Mm -hmm. uh, otherwise, you could basically be protecting areas. You can also use them to attack other adjacent spaces when it says Guardians attack on your die. I'll explain all that later. But basically, I would suggest you to place it on a space that's either somewhere where you want to control um, or have control later, or increasing your stats for your character. Okay, so area control would be if I needed a resource. Um, you're, you're not going to be gaining resources from them, but you'll be attacking adjacent spaces. You're going to be gaining bonus stats if you place them on a specific area that gives you stats. Like, Vince, for instance, this over here is the sword, which will give your character a bonus to attack. You have the shield that's going to give you a bonus to your defense, and then you have your uh, guardian points. Uh, so you increase your guardian points by plus one if you place it there. My suggestion is you place it right here on the shield. It's going to give you a bonus to your defense right away, and it's going to guard the area next to your shrine. It's perfect. Go ahead and give yourself a plus one to defense. Which one is that? Green. You have attack, defense, and guardian points. So green is going to be your defense. Okay, is there any other special abilities? Mine is, personally, I get a level two tower to start the game off with. Okay. Callie's Mine is? Mine is I can use another player's artifact as if it was my own. Nice. And mine gave me the plus one to the stat of my choice at the beginning, which was my defensive stat. So he, Max just gathered a plus one to defense. Mm -hmm. So we've placed out our characters, our, chose our locations, our towers, any of our special abilities, and our mana shrines. Now uh, we also placed out the monsters to begin the game, and um, have all of our stats and player boards uh, and everything out and available for us. I think we're pretty much ready to go in the game. Uh, we have the designers in the comments as well, so if you have any questions or concerns, you can go ahead and message them. And I'm sure if I get any rules wrong, it will be displayed down below in the comments as well. To begin the game, you're going to take dice equal to your tower level, which is two white resource die when you have a level one tower. Mm -hmm. And uh, if you have a level two tower like myself, you get to add the lime green. What? Additionally, you'll take this enchantment die here. This is going to allow you uh, to have four dice as a level mm -hmm. two tower as opposed to three. So I'll take these guys here. I'm going to roll them right over here. When you roll them, the first thing you're going to do is check any any spe specific bonuses. For instance, this here is Guardian's attack. Uh, now this is a prototype, mm -hmm. so things will change, and this thing here just means that any Guardians can attack. Uh, if I have any Guardians, I can have them each choose a single location that's adjacent to them and attack that location, which means they will just simply make, make somebody lose minus one HP. 
Okay. Yeah, guardians in general have two HP on their own, and if you don't do two damage to a guardian on your turn, it does not perish. Um, so that's ignored. I don't have anything to do with that right now. Uh, I have this sword here, which means that my attack is boosted by plus one for this turn. And then I've got a purple and I have a yellow. So I'm going to take a yellow and a purple card, mana cards, that I can mm -hmm. use to purchase things on my turn. And I'll place them uh, somewhere within reach of my, my player board. So that is it for these guys here. Now I'm going to go through the different uh, things you can do on your turn. There's different mm -hmm. actions. One thing you can do is you can move your character. You can move it one space on any tile that's adjacent to your character as long as it is not current, not going onto a swamp space, these spaces here that block movement. Some of them are going to give you a benefit. For instance, if you walk onto a mana space, that's purple here, that is going to let all of the things that you buy on your turn, as long as he's there, be reduced by one purple or blue or yellow. Uh, other spaces uh, will let you do trades, like three for three for one or two for one, et cetera, et cetera. the same one for one, okay. Exactly. Um, I can also choose to attack. Um, I can attack to an adjacent space uh, with my attack plus a roll. If I roll a six, I always win. If I roll a one, I always fail. Otherwise, I check my stat of attack plus the roll. Uh, is it greater than the defense of the opposing character? If it is, I will succeed. If it's a character, I'll make them reduce HP. If they go to zero, I'm going to get some bonus like ascendancy point and some mm -hmm. souls, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And if it's a monster, I can gain certain things as well. And then guardians, you need to do two damage too. Uh, the next thing I do is I can choose to build a mana shrine. If I have the resources available to me on this little board here, I can upgrade. To, for me, I need to upgrade to level 3 because I already have a level 2. Mm -hmm. So it would cost me a red, a yellow, a green, a blue, and a purple. Um, I don't have that. I only have a yellow and a purple right now. Uh, I can also go ahead and up. Uh, I can uh, upgrade my tower and, of course, the mana shrine. So basically, anything you want to build is going to be on this board here. Yeah. And it tells you what you can do. You can spell also card, uh, scroll cards, yeah. yeah. Spell cards, scroll, scroll cards. cards, yes. Um, I can summon guardians. At the bottom of my player board, it tells me the cost of the guardian. It has the guardian stat, and uh, you can place them on a space adjacent to you as long as it is concurrent with um, where, well, with placement, right? So any mana spaces or green spaces. Um, I could also play a spell card. Some of them are free, and some of them will cost an action. I can generate a resource that the player owns. So if it's on a shrine I control, for instance, I can take a red card, or I can take a purple card. Mm -hmm. Uh, or I can transfer souls. So you're going to get souls throughout the game as you defeat things. Uh, you can so you're going to be storing them on your a character or in your with your guardians. When you get three, you can turn them in for an ascendancy. Okay, and you need okay. to get those nine points to mm -hmm. win, 11 in the full game. Um, and then at the end of my turn, after I choose three of those, I can choose more than one of the same action. Then I'm going to discard down to five resources, and I will pass play to the next player. They'll roll their dice, they'll check the enchantment, any bonuses, mm -hmm. gain their resources, and take three actions. That's pretty much how the game works, Sounds okay? Good. And as we go throughout it, I will explain in case I have any, if there's any things or issues or whatever. Um, and of course, the, I'm sure if I goof up on anything, then designers will... Um, Politely let us know. Yes, and I'm sure that will happen. Uh, so, I want to first move one space. Action one is to move a space. Now, action two, I'm actually going to uh, gather a red card because I own this area here with my tower. So I'm always able to get a red card. Mm -hmm. That's two actions. And I have one more action left. And I kind of wish I didn't get that purple there because I already have a purple. I wish it was a blue you instead. A, yeah, green or blue. Um, I, can't, I can't build anything. I guess I'll take another red because if I get two red and two blue, I can get a spell card. Mm -hmm. so that's all three of my actions. Basically, I've got a, a good chunk here. And then we check to see, do I have more than five? I don't. So my turn is good. I can pass play to Callie now. All right. I will take the resource die. Go ahead and roll them right up here. Oh, and the, sorry. And the, and, and the yeah, yeah, yeah. And the, that is not what I, okay. So you got two red. Uh, yeah, that's guardian's that? attack. Mm. Don't worry about that then. There's no guardians that can do any adjacent damage to anything. If, if there was, and you had a guardian here, you could actually hurt this monster, right? Yes. Or other players, but you don't have any guardians out yet. I don't want red. <laughs> but red will let you get spell cards. Have, uh, okay. <laughs> well, I didn't want both red, at least. I will... Hmm, I'll move one here, and then I'll pick up a yellow and a yellow for my second action. 
from my tower. Yeah. And then from my shrine, you get a green. A green. Uh, yeah, additionally, three, yeah. too, remember, you're on the space here, which means yes. you can trade two for one. So if you don't want reds, you can get something else. But I could wait till my next turn, right? I believe so, yeah. But if, is as that long as you're on the is space. Is that an action, though? Uh, no, I don't think no. so. I think okay. it's just when you're on the space, you can you, you can okay. trade two for one. So I'll wait and see what I roll next turn. Okay. Okay. Uh, all right. Let's see what Let's we see. get. What, what you gonna do? What you gonna do? Uh, so you're gonna have guardians attack. You actually have a guardian, but there's Ooh. nothing for it to uh, attack. So you're gonna attack, generate try, yourself huh? a yellow and a blue resource. Okay. Some mana there. And now you have actions to do. You can move your character. You can generate either a blue resource or a purple resource. If you can build anything on your little player board, this is basically like your shop board, mm -hmm. and you can do that. Um, you can summon guardians too if you have the mana required to summon a guardian. No, can't do that yet. Okay. Um, you don't have any spell cards, um, so you can generate resources. Pretty much, you don't need to worry about souls. You don't have it okay, yet. so I'll so I can generate a purple since absolutely the shrine is over you own there. a shrine that has a purple, so you can generate a purple. Okay, I'll generate a purple. Okay. And then uh, I have one other action left, right? Uh, you've mm -hmm. only done one so far, right? You generated a purple. Uh -huh. That's it. Yeah, two more. Okay. Yep. Move your character if you want. So what happens if I move closer to You can this? move and also attack if you wanted, right? Mm -hmm. You can move next There's to the a monster. There. Yeah. <laughs> you can move next to the monster. You can attack by rolling one of your die and adding your stat that is attack. And if you can hit the Banshee, which is a five, if you can get mm -hmm. uh, higher than five, you can do damage to it. And if you get two damage on that Banshee, it'll go away and you're going to gain yourself an ascendancy. And you're also going to gain yourself a loot card. What happens if Ooh. it doesn't die? Does it attack me? No, uh, monsters will only attack when you roll those die there, and a uh, monster symbol gets rolled. Uh, that will allow you to roll the die, and based on whatever you roll is what type of monster will either come out or attack mm -hmm. all spaces adjacent. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, okay, so I'll move, and then... I can attack from here, right? You absolutely yeah. can, yes. Okay, okay, then I'll attack. So you have a stat, uh, attack stat of what? Um, is it... It's one. It's one. Yeah, you have one attack, two defense, and one guardian stat. So okay. you're going to roll a six-sided die. You're going to add that number you roll plus the number that you have of attack. Mm -hmm. And if you get higher than the Banshee's five, you're going to do a damage to it. Six, Six plus one is seven, seven, which is higher than the Banshee's stat, so you are going to do a damage to it. If you can defeat uh, any of these monsters as the first time in a game, mm -hmm. you're going to get an ascendancy point in addition to uh, Ooh, loot. Yes. Okay. Nice. Um, but otherwise, if you don't, you're just simply going to get a soul. So I believe it's yeah, the first time you get an ascendancy and a soul, and then mm -hmm. the second you get a soul... And either way, you're going to get a loot card. And so we'll need when we get to get to tower level four and beyond, and for mana shrine. Yes, you can use souls for currency. Okay. Additionally, too, um, if you want to defeat a guardian, you won't get ascendancy for the first time you kill them because mm -hmm. they're going to be coming out quite a bit. But you will get a soul for each one you defeat, and you have to do two damage to it. Other ones have their specific stats here, and your character has two HP, and it functions very similarly to how you fight monsters, how you fight characters, with some added changes. Uh, okay, so you've done all three of your actions. You generated, you moved, and you attacked. Max, you're up. Take the three die and roll them right over here like you're stolen. Okay, so you're going to ignore a rule. Now, in general, that would mean that if there's any of these book cards out, and there are book symbols that get rolled, uh, they're going to change the rules of the game. And I'll go ahead and give an example of one of them. This is a mana shortage yellow, which means you don't generate any yellow mana. Mm -hmm. and this will come out and stay in play. If you will ignore a rule, you can generate yellow mana on your yeah. turn, mm -hmm. but only you. Some of these are positives, others are negatives, and it really mm -hmm. just depends on what you roll in this die here. So you're going to generate a green and a purple mana. Thank yeah. you. And then you're taking <coughs> three actions. I'm going to move my dude into the sword. Yep, sword. That's going to give you an attack stat of plus one for the turn as long no. as you're there. Temporary. It yeah, it's just temporary yeah. though. And then I will collect a green and a red. Okay, a green and a red. And I believe if you're, yeah, green and red. And remember, if you're on a space that has a mana symbol, that will reduce the cost of whatever you buy mm -hmm. on the turn mm -hmm. that you're on that specific symbol. So if you're missing a blue, for instance, you can walk onto yeah. the blue space, and that would let you have that mana to use. 
Uh, so you've generated all three of yours? I've done all three of my actions. It is your turn, good sir. Nice. I like I like having the bonus lime green die. Mm -hmm. I feel more powerful mm -hmm. than you guys. I get, get an, extra, more stuff. an extra thing, <laughs> possibly. All right, come on. Come on, baby. Daddy needs a new thing. Uh. All right. Well, this is an interesting one. So I've got guardians attack. I've got no guardians. Uh, I've got two red I'm going to gain. <clears throat> Uh, I've got this. Also, this monster. Monsters are going, uh, going. It's going to attack. So technically, before I generate this 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 uh, mana, I'm going to roll one of my die, and we'll see what happens. Maybe a new monster will come out. Oh, okay. Maybe one of the monsters will attack. Uh, oh. And we got a two. So two is the Trent, and the Trent is just simply going to uh, come out, and I'll place it on the space in which the Trent treant, is going. Right? Treant. Yeah. yeah. I can't say words. Don't. don't <laughs> no. uh, and then I'm going to get my, my mana now. So if that were to have been not a treant, if it were to be like the dragon, it would do damage to everything mm -hmm. around it. Mm -hmm. Including the shrine? Or no? no, shrines don't take damage. Oh, okay. um, but it would, I believe, do damage to the monster next to it. Oh. Yes, yeah, so nice. So, all right. Make the monsters fight themselves. <laughs> You've um, got a lot of red. I do. I have a lot of red. And i got three actions now. Um, I, I can, if I have two, but I still need two, bl I need blue. How am I going to, I need a... I need to create another mana shrine, I think. Oh, it's hard because I need Do souls. Do you have to put mana that. shrines next to you when you create them, or can you place them anywhere? Uh, no, you can place them um, anywhere on the board of the mana okay. shrine, I believe. But with guardians, they need to be adjacent, adjacent to you, and yeah. it needs to be in either a mm -hmm. green space that isn't this one, yeah. or a uh, mana space. Oh, that was not my favorite color to roll. That's for certain. I think I'm going to move two spaces. Now, if I want, I can actually teleport with this thing here. It would be great to teleport over here and steal that kill, but I'm too far away. And mm -hmm. this space here blocks me from getting over there. So I'm just going to move one more space here. I'll turn these. So that's two movements. So it's yeah. two actions. I'll turn these two red in, and it's going to give me... One of any color. One of any color. I think... Ooh, that's tough. Mm -hmm. I think I'll go for a blue, though. I think blue is the answer. And I have one more action left? Yeah. I wonder Wait. if I... Oh, you can move... How how much can you move on one action? One space. Oh, okay. Yeah. You moved twice. Right. I did. So okay. I have one more action left, right? Shrines can oh, okay. be placed this on the monotile right. your hero is on. Okay, so yes. Guardians can be placed adjacent to the shrines and towers. Okay, control. so sorry, yes. Um, then, yeah, you can place mana shrines on a space you're on, not any space. That's sorry, at the beginning okay. of the game, you choose a space. Yes, okay. Um, uh, I don't know. I don't, I don't really need a discount in yellow, per se. Mm -hmm. I do need green. I need to get some souls, though. I'm afraid to move too close to these monsters, because <laughs> I feel like they might... damage you. But I can hurt them next turn. The okay. dragon is at six, though, which is pretty... Beefy. It's pretty, pretty beefy. Yeah. Can I trade those. again? I wonder if I can trade another two for one. I mean, I feel like I can if I'm on the space, right? If I I'm feel like, yes. Well. I mean, I, I'll, I'll probably be told wrong if I'm wrong, but I, th I think I can do this again, in which case I can get a green, and then for my last action, I'll just take a red, because I own a uh, red space. There you so go. I can have uh, all five that would colors. That be four actions. No, he's good. Because you double moved. I moved twice. Then you... That's the only thing that he did. Did the first transfer. Transfer is, is not an action. Oh, it's not an action. Yeah. Not as far as I'm aware, no. Uh, just like these spaces are not actions. They just give you an attack, a defense, a guardian, um, as far as I'm aware. I could be wrong, though. Like I said, well, yeah, good? All right, cool. Then uh, I'm done. I did, I did my thing. Right. I moved twice, and I generated a resource. Dice, please. You don't need these. Well, not the green one. <laughs> yeah, the Yet. green one's for me. Yet. I will get it soon. You need... Okay, this is guardian's attack, right? And a monster. Monster... Trading does so, not use an action. Okay, so first, yeah, guardians will attack. You don't have any guardians. Mm -hmm. So now monster's going to come out by rolling the die. A one. So the banshee's going to attack. Caleb, take a damage. <laughs> okay. Flip over your little tiger. Your health little, token. Yep. Now when you die, basically you go back to your starting location. If you have any souls on your board, you'll lose one. And if another player defeated you, they would take a loot card and they would get an ascendancy and a soul. So when a monster defeats you and you have nothing, it's just basically making you back one space. Yeah. It's not a and huge deal. And I'll get a blue resource. 
which is perfect. So am I supposed to go back, or did I not? You you lost one, so you're going from th two to two to one. Yeah. Yeah. But I'm just saying, if you go to zero, uh, you're just going to reset. You're not going to lose anything. So I have one, uh, yellow, green, red, and blue. So I can go to tower level two if I turn these in. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> that's I'd be that's my the world. Green, the lime green. Not icon. anymore. Wow. Wow. <laughs> okay. That's that would be my first action, correct? Yes. Okay. And then... Remember, if I you get to your tower level 5, you get two ascendancy points, too. Yeah, that's nice. So you can theoretically win the game by... And remember, you have your quests, too. Don't forget to look oh, at your quests yeah, and see yeah. what they are. Oh, the oops. player whose turn it is when the monster Ooh. kills anything gets the benefits of the kill as if the hero had killed it. Oh, that's nice. Okay. Okay, and then I'm, I'm going to get a yellow resource from my tower and a green one from my shrine. And then I'm going to summon my spirit for my third action. Wait, no, that was building. Building this was an action. You right? built, yeah. Okay, then That's I'm one. out of action. Okay. okay. Go ahead, Caleb. So objectives of you. What does tier one mean again? So That's the first thing you can do for that card. Okay. So let's say I completed that objective last turn. Um, I believe if you complete it, you place it down and you gain the reward. And then mm -hmm. if you go to do, do the tier two, you get that one when you complete it, and then so on and so, so forth. So I should have placed this out last turn. Uh, what is it? What did it say? Tier one on, t on target. Objective, roll a six when attacking a monster, hero, or guardian. Your reward is one spell card. So yeah, you would play yeah. that. Go ahead and do that. That's fine. Yeah. And you would take one of those scroll cards. Yeah, and I believe you can get you'll get the tier two next. Otherwise, it's you can do either one or two. Um, we'll find oh, out in a second. Oh, it looks like here. yeah, they kind of <coughs> gradually go up and and work together. You may only complete one of the tiers per uh, card. Okay. Okay. Mm. It's probably not a bad one. Though. It was a choice. Okay, yeah. so it's it's a choice, and it's not it's 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 they're more difficult, but you get more value mm -hmm. when you complete the harder mm -hmm. ones. Okay. Oh, like if I had done tier two, that would have been one ascendancy. Point. Yes. Okay. Oh, I did one too then. You, yeah, well, too I'm bad. I, I showed you <laughs> okay. the quest. So you didn't get to go you back. You just told me now. You're not going. <laughs> no, I showed okay, you okay. quest cards. No, I didn't realize about the tier two. I thought I had to do tier yeah. one first. Yeah. That's not fine. Okay, good. <laughs> Why, well, you, you did a tier two thing? Yeah. What is it? Show I me. I attacked him with the banshee. You attacked, oh, who? Yeah. attacked what? Because a hero rolled, with the yeah. Banshee during my turn. You must hit a monster, guardian, or hero with the Banshee during your turn. Yeah. She did that. Fine. One spell card, one ascendant. Uh-huh. <laughs> There's no more bonus, no bonuses, <laughs> okay, though. Okay, okay. <laughs> Are you sure? Yeah. Then? You better look at your cards all careful. This is the <laughs> okay, only turn okay. you get to do it. Then don't rush me. <laughs> Is this the spell card? Sorry. Yes. Okay. Scroll cards. Scroll cards. Scroll cards. Scroll cards. Oh, look, a book. Yeah, so you're going to flip over a rule and leave it there. And everybody's going to see it. You do not generate any red mana. Okay, so no red mana is generated while that card exists. <laughs> okay, so one purple, one blue mana card for me. All right, purple. Blue. Oh, there you go. Remember, five mana only at the end of your turn. Okay. Mm -hmm. you so spend you can spend. You you can... Yeah. yeah. And I can. Tr How do you trade? You trade. You have to be on the spot to trade. So, so like... this one's a two to one. That's uh, three of any mana for one of your choice. Okay. And this one is two of the same type for one of your choice. So I don't want to generate because I'll have to get rid of it anyway. So, but I can mm. attack him again, right? Yes. A five. Five. Five plus one is six, and right? And you hit it. So you're going to hit this guy. It's going to die. You're going to gain one ascendancy. I believe you're going to get a soul, which I may be corrected on, and you are going to get a loot card. And I'll read the loot Ooh. cards for everybody, okay? So you're killing the Banshee. You gain one spell card. 
And these are each unique cards it's that so will give powerful. you a unique um, a reward for every time you defeat something. Mm. So did you get yourself a scroll card? This? Yes. Yep. Um, and this is yours too. You've placed Do these this. get used now? Uh, they are either going to cost you an action if they say so. Otherwise, you can just play them for free. It doesn't say, so. say that it costs an action. Um, uh, then I, they, think I think most of them will just say that they... Most of them are kind of... Using this showing. card does not cost an action. Oh, I see. So at the okay. bottom, if it says it doesn't cost an action, you can play it for free. Otherwise, it'll cost you an action. I'm going to give this a nice little shuffle. So that was one action. You attacked... Yeah. Did you do anything else? No. Then, yeah, you got one action. So I can play this then? Uh, sure. It says plus one to your defense permanently. Bam. You nice. just play that card, put it in the discard pile over here, and increase your defense from two to three. Caleb's going to be a challenging one to beat. <laughs> yeah, you're going to want to mess with him. He's just getting too powerful. That was two actions, right? Yeah. There's one, three. Yeah, one more. So I can move this way? Yeah. Yep. Done. <laughs> Go away from the tree ant. I need that. the tree ant. <laughs> Dice, please. I'm innocent. I'm not doing anything wrong. Right. Yes, you're innocent, Caleb. <laughs> That's why my last name is good. Mm -hmm. All right, so we have a guardian's attack. No guardian. No guardians. All right. Okay, you're going to get a blue. Yellow and a blue, please. There you go. Lots of mana there. Got one of each color. When you kill something, your hero moves into the space the kill model was in. So when you killed the Banshee, your guy would have gone there. Oh. Do you still want to go oh. to the red? So yeah, so yeah, you yeah, basically when you kill the thing, you, you would move here. But yeah, you can still move here for your action. Yeah, I'll still move to the okay. red. Okay. <clears throat> All right. I'm gonna have a little bit of interesting fun and go on to the book. Okay, give you a. Uh, that's gonna yeah, flip over that rule. Artifact nullifier. Artifacts cannot be used. Okay, can't use artifact cards, which are these guys here. Okay. For my second action, I'm going to attack Caleb's guy. Okay, so you're gonna take your die, um, and you're going to roll, and I believe Caleb rolls, and then it's his your attack versus his defense. So you take one of your die. Oh, even though it's his guardian? Oh, it's his guardian you're yeah. attacking. Yeah, oh, guardian. it's the guardian. So I was thinking you're his guy. His, his guardian is what? What's the stat at the bottom there? Three. Three. So you got to be a three. You roll a one. Plus a one, which would be a two. That's no good. No, no good. good. I'm going to attack again. Okay. Remember, you have to do two damage in order to defeat him. Yep. Okay. That's oh. two. That's no good. All right. Guardian is... Being a very good guardian. Mm -hmm. But the nice thing about this is I'm going to be taking my dual attacks tier one, swing and a miss, roll a one when attacking a guardian. Yep, so he rolled a one, so he's going to go ahead and receive uh, a spell card. Yep. Or a yeah, scroll, a scroll card, go ahead and take that. Be a, be a challenging. Okay, and did you move in, and then you rolled twice? I moved and then attacked twice, correct? Yep. Okay. Right, my turn. Okay. Uh, guardians attack, no use for me. A monster! Oh, please, please, please. Oh, wait. No. <laughs> okay, it's okay. Six, a five. One, two, three, four. Gazer. No. Okay, so the gazer is just going to uh, hit this monster here. Hit the dragon. Yeah, the dragon. One. All okay. right. Does that, is that useful to me? Wait. Yes. Uh, attack with the gazer. You must hit okay. a monster guardian or hero with the, the gazer during my turn. I'll get a spell card and an ascendancy point. Uh, a spell or scroll and an ascendancy point. Mm -hmm. Take this and put this here. All right. And then here's your resources. Okay. Okay, for the, guardi for the guardians and such. Yep. The Guardian's power is equal to the power listed on the player board plus the blue dice stat. Right, right. So, so it would be even higher. It'd be three technically plus, plus one. one before. Okay. Yes. Uh, so you 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 missed even more. I missed <laughs> even harder, but guess what? I completed a quest. So even mm -hmm. when I lose, yeah. 
I won. still win. Okay. Um, so that's it. That's all, all this is, which was actually pretty good for me. Um, I am going to take my first action, and you can guess what that might be. It is five cards, and I am going to increase the level of my tower. What? That's how I do. Look at that. All five different colors summons the third tier. The seal has been broken. Mm -hmm. And I will be able to use my orange uh, die next time. So this guy here, which gives me a bonus action if I roll this. <gasps> There's two, bo three bonus actions and oh, Attack. that's so wonderful. Ooh, nice. That's so great. Okay. Uh, okay, that's one action. My second action is going to move here. And my third action is going to fly over to the, to the tree over there. Okay. And I am done. I'll leave these here. And, um, yeah, you're going to get a chance to go. Here, you get to use my yep. green die. You want, you want my green die? Yeah, I don't yeah. know if you deserve it. This is too powerful for some. I turned in my power. Right. I got my level two tower. Go ahead. Take it. That tree needs to take three damage. You though. get to steal one mana from any player that you'd like. Oh. Except for me. Uh, the <laughs> well, red player is protected by wait, all steals. Max has too many, first of all. You have to discard a card. Five <laughs> mana max. Yoink. And you should steal one from Max because he has all five colors. That's yeah. hilarious. I'm going to go for the red one. Oh, it's so dirty. <laughs> Callie's so mean. I would never have stolen that. I would yeah, just suggest right. her to do it so ah! she's in your bad book. Okay, mm. and then I'll also get a yellow, a purple, oh, and I, a blue. I can counter things if I choose, too. That's the ah. fun thing. Oh, no. Okay, so I better spend some mana here because I have a lot. Um, <laughs> but, so do we have to summon our guardians like lowest to highest, or we can summon any one of them that we want? Uh, you can summon any one that you want, okay. as long as you can uh, pay for it. Yeah. Callie, think. Think very carefully what you want to do because I'm using this card, which I can use at any time, does not cost an action, which is slow. Reduce the actions of any player by one on their next turn. So, your next turn. Are you playing oh. that? Yeah. Okay, so her next okay. turn is going to have one less action. Yep. Yeah. Hilarious. <laughs> That's what you get for stealing. I'm going to go ahead and go to tower level three. Nancy's cheering for you, Kelly. Yeah. Yay. Be cheering for her. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yes, who, who's out there voting in TV land for who's going to win? We'll go. This guy. To the third level we'll of my see. tower? This guy. <laughs> <laughs> this and is then, similar to D&D. This is my realm. I'll grab, for my second action, I'll grab a green mana from my shrine. How are you getting all this extra mana? I rolled three. Uh, must yeah. be nice. Must know, be nice. I know. <laughs> And then for my third action, I'm going to move this way. Okay. Good. All right. Go ahead and give Caleb his dice. We need to go ahead and, and take care of Callie. Ignore rule. Okay. So you can just ignore. You're going You're going to have to ignore uh, artifacts cannot be used. So you can use artifacts on this turn. How but you do don't you, have any. If you, had, yeah. if you had an artifact, you could use it. How do you get those? Uh, loot cards. Oh. When you kill a thing, you'll draw oh, one of these guys, oh. and it'll tell you, gain one artifact, gain one artifact, et cetera, et cetera. Didn't I kill somebody? Um, yeah, you just didn't get an artifact for that one. Um, you got he, the oh. scroll card. He drew, I drew one of these yeah, for him, yeah. 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 Sometimes you get it, other times you don't. It's uh -huh. random. And the like, the Banshee is easier to kill, so it's less powerful loot. Yeah, you, you're, you're fighting weak sauce stuff. <laughs> go, go against this guy, please. Okay. Um, yellow and blue. Yep. Did you already get that or no? No, I didn't. Okay. But I'm going to have to discard. Well, unless you can spend them. Um, you, you, got your, you can get your tower up a level if you have the resources you need. You can also go over here and trade three for one, Caleb. You need different colors, right? Because right now you can get blue, you can get purple. But if you want, you can move one space and trade three for one. So if you don't want certain colors, you can get rid of them. Um, yes, I could do that, but I'm not. Okay, what are you going to do? What are you going to do then? You going to you go after the tree? Five. Are you going to end your turn? No. You have three actions, though. Wait, you still yeah, have three yeah, actions. Do your three actions first. No. You don't want to. I don't want to because I have an objective. Okay. 
Do I wait to do the objective, or...? You can do it if it completes it. Okay. I don't know what you're doing, so... Yeah. To complete this quest, you can only roll your resource die during your turn. You may not use any actions or purchase anything. This tier requires you to have six or less ascendancy points. Your reward is one ascendancy point. Yep. Skip a turn, gain an ascendancy point. Oops. That's okay. solid. That's what. Yeah. That <laughs> that works. You wouldn't want to roll this die then. Uh, no, no, it's, it's no, oh, no, it, oh, it does. Okay. It, it always rolls. That's oh, not okay. really a benefit. That's a yeah. thing that happens. All right. Patrick's calling you a slacker. <laughs> Slacking. Hey, he's got Somebody two, has to win. He's got two ascendancy <laughs> points out of nine, which oh. we need to win. Oh, that's uh, that's a spicy meatball. Okay, so first of all, mm. a rule change. So instead of artifacts not being used, guardians can't be summoned. No. <laughs> monsters will attack. Yeah, Go ahead and roll one of your die. Uh, three. three. One, two, three. Dragon will attack and will do one damage to the uh, gazer. gazer. All right. I'm happy nice. with that. Yeah, and then makes I it a little get one purple, please. Now, for my first turn, I'm going to generate a red. Oh, you stole a red. Oh, that's so dirty. Yep. Okay, and then you can't go to three, though. You have to go to two first. Yes. Okay. For my second action, I'm going to use these four right here in order yep. to upgrade Make your pat tower. tower up. Yeah, tower level two. Mm -hmm. Give me that stuff. Let me check it. Is it good? <laughs> Got all the resources, yeah. No, no counterfeits? No. Nope. I'm like Kelly, I don't cheat. Oh, I didn't cheat. Cheating and being ruthless are two different things. Mm -hmm. Okay, and, and last action. Here. Can we move onto the same spaces as other characters, or is it one space? As a guardian, uh, can you move on to like this guardian space? Yeah. I don't know. I think you can move on to other spaces of other players. I'm pr I, I, I feel think. like there's not room. <laughs> I don't know. I think, I think you can. Yeah, I think oh, you can okay. move on to their okay. spaces. We'll find out. Well, yeah. we will find out shortly. What do you want to do? You, can, you, have a sec you can have a second action in case you can't do that. I, I'm oh. just going to be attacking. Oh, okay. Because he can't. Yeah. No, wait, if you wire. attack, you have to do two damage in the same turn. You only have one action left. Um. So if you attack, you're going to do nothing. Unless you have a card that says do two damage instead of one. Only guardians uh, have two HP that must be eliminated on mm -hmm. the same turn. You got quests you're looking at, I see. Yeah, trying to see if there's something under this I can. What did I do to you? <laughs> Your dude's in my way. That's what it is. I mean, you go can, you around. Can, you can move the space, and if not, then you can uh, move over here, or you'll be able to like. You take can a jump over models. You just can't have two models occupy the same space. Okay, so you have to spend two actions mm -hmm. to do that. Yeah. Uh, so you can generate a resource instead then. Yeah. I'll... Generate a uh, green. You don't have any green. Don't or have red. Green, but I will regenerate a red. Okay. From my final action. There you go. All right. Uh, it is my turn. And now we're getting serious business here. At level three, I'm going to get a lime green and an orange and the two white dice yeah. and the magical enchantment die. Unless you control the space, your hero and guardian can okay. be placed no, in the I'm same space. No, I'm not rolling on that. You're, come on. I Luck this be is a competitive game. Tonight. Oh, yellow, yellow, and green, and a free action. All right. So your, your uh, people can... So guardians them. attack. I don't have any guardians. Uh, I'm going to get a bonus action this turn, and I'm going to get two yellows and a green. Rules. <clears throat> So if Caleb had joined in on his own guardian space, they can occupy the same space because mm -hmm. they are allies. Okay. You can occupy any space that you ally or that is empty. Otherwise, you have to jump over. Okay. I've got... Oh, I've got... No, 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 no. These are not the right... Co I need a green. How do I get a green? Where am I? Oh, I'm not near a green. Oh. You are, but there's a swamp in the way. Hmm. <laughs> I've got five right now. Maybe I don't want to do any of that. Maybe I want to attack the uh, treant. Mm -hmm. Is that the thing I want to do? Let me check. Secretly, I'm going to look here. Don't worry about it. It is a thing I can do. Got if I three. if I make if I lose the treant, I can get five ascendancy points. <laughs> no, you don't believe me. No, Definitely that's not. that's no. Um. Okay. Fine. Maybe it's not a thing. <laughs> Um, one, two, and then my third action is I'm going to get a green. I'm going to lose a resource, though. I guess that's okay. What do I not need? Purple? 
or blue? What can you get the most out of? For you, I would say it's purple because you have a shrine on purple. Yeah, I can get rid of. I can. Uh, this is not going to be a big deal to me. I can get it back. Okay. Oh, I get a bonus action too. Actually, <gasps> my bonus action is because I got this. I got this uh, speedy Gonzalez here. Uh, I'm going to spend two green. Oh, bonus action! Thank you, bonus action. And I'm going to get an artifact. And I can use artifacts. Yeah, yes. guardians yeah. can't be summoned. I can generate a yellow mana at no cost once per turn if I control a yellow mana tile. Mm. Mm. Now, does control mean I can just be on it? Does I, that count? As I long as I'm, I think as long so. as my character is there, or as long yeah. as a shrine or a guardian is there. Okay, I think that's what it means. But either way, I don't get to generate because I do not have control. So I'm gonna pass. Okay, give and me uh, all the dice. And remember, Callie, you have two actions this, one, this turn. Yeah, I'm level three. Last turn. <laughs> Callie, she, level she, you, three. You cheating? No. Yeah, those. You, you can't have my bonus extra turn die. Okay, but I only get two actions. Two actions. Turn. Yeah. And I can't summon Guardian unless... On three actions. She stole my extra turn <laughs> die. All right. I didn't steal right. it. Yes, you did. I copying built my, my power. Stra copying my strategy. Okay, I steal a mana. <laughs> there you go. Look, I got these ones here. Nice uh, and juicy. I don't... What do I want? I don't know. I don't know. I can't... You have to actually start killing things. I know. To... Okay, I definitely want. Let's. Sorry, Caleb. I want a yellow one. <laughs> oh, dirty, <laughs> dirty. Okay. And then, cause I'll get. And now you're gonna get purple, blue, purple, and green. Blue and green. All right, and you got four action, three actions, cause three, Max stole one. Yeah. I'm gonna turn two. For this guy here. Yellow and two green in for yeah an artifact. Thank you very much. My. <laughs> Extra turn. So do these extra. do these just pop out, right? I, I, yeah, you just play them. Yeah, I think. okay. Mm -hmm. You generate a blue mana at no cost once per turn if you control a blue mana tile. You better not control blue. You don't. Okay. No, I'm just. Oh, on you one. you're on she one. Does. You're on one. You control it then, I believe. Okay. So you do actually. Oh, right now. Mm -hmm. Then you okay. Control, you're you're controlling that tile right now. And then. Is that um, right? Is that what they said? Yeah. They haven't said yet. Okay. I'm, I'm thinking since I... you're on it, you control it. Yes, Serge. War and peace. Oh. You and your 8 million mana you get every turn. I know. That's like the best One. roll you could have done. Steal a mana, get three other mana of different Two. colors, and a bonus action. So if I go in here, that's... Tell, you, you can teleport for another action. Okay. I'll do... Then, I guess, three. Okay. <laughs> Why are you going over there? <laughs> <It's a> treant. <laughs> Just, all right. Uh, that's it? That's it. Caleb, you're up. Give him the die. You guys need to upgrade your tower. Oh, you need yeah. to upgrade your tower. I'll get there eventually. Uh, so flip over a rule. Oh. And then we're going to give you these guys here. You may hold as much mana as you like. Oh, nice. That is... Oh, that's for everybody. <laughs> everybody. <Yeah. laughs> Perfect. Perfect. Until it goes away. Well, <laughs> yeah. you only have to discard at the end of your turn. Yeah, yeah. So oh, if you look, get a bunch of mana, right, I can do a level two tower. Right. Do it. Yeah. Right? That's do it. Good you're, idea. You're done. Red, green, blue, yellow. All right. I'll take those. My arm is complete again. <laughs> <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Um, okay. That was... How many actions was that? One. One. Mm -hmm. Okay. You generated all the stuff and then you bought something. Two. Attacking? Yes. Go for it. One Get that tree plus down. four is five. I don't think you make it. I think you have to hit over. Above. above. Oh, okay. I think Not so. Not equal to. I, mean, I, I, I might have in my special rules. My my, my rule. My, I do have. Uh, Your yeah. notes. <laughs> uh, attack. Equals total attack versus monster. Probably, monster. Uh, Greater than. You said greater yes. than and not greater than or equal. Yes, damage. One damage if greater than. So, yes. My handy rule book, rule <laughs> sheet states no. Cheat sheet. <laughs> okay. That's it. Max. Thanks for joining us, Josh. Thanks, oh. please. Hey, Josh. Hope you're feeling better. Mr. Sickly. You yeah. just don't want me to and get another I ascendancy. Need the you get nothing green like dice, it. <laughs> The lime green? Yes, my dice tower yeah, is you can, old too. You can have that, that's fine. That's so rude. <laughs> that's old school now. It's all about the orange. 
Okay, so you're going to have a uh, monster attack, so roll that die. Let's see what happens. A two. two. You also gain a health, but you don't need it. Yep. Uh, so the train is going to attack. No. Nice. It's going to attack yellow for one damage. And Caleb. And for one blue damage, for one damage. Which will push Caleb back to death. Oh, no. Wait. Well, it's happening to you, unless you have something to say about it. Huh? What? She's going to... Did you take the one damage? Yeah. Okay. And then, Caleb, you're being attacked for uh, for your last HP point. Mm. Okay. Yep. Yeah. So, do I play this now? Or um, do I wait? Is it in response to you dying? Yes. So, then you're going to go back to full. You're going to lose your one soul, because you lose a soul whenever you die, and you're going to return yourself to here. And then you can play a card, yes. Die once by any means. Reward plus one to all stats. Oh. Okay, so you play that card. Yeah. That's going to give you a two to attack, four to defense. How's going, to your guardian. And two to your guardians. Okay, uh, great job, Max. You kill the player with a guardian. Is that a, a useful thing for you? Sadly, no. Okay. Not with a monster. <laughs> Okay, yeah. um, I continue need your a turn. yellow and a red, please. Yellow and a red. I'll get back to the tree. It still has three lives, so it's fine. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's see here. What do I want to do with my three actions? I just need count. You got a lot of power. In, you, got a lot of, you got a lot of power on your on your hands now. A lot of t- you're you're like two four two. I'm still one one one. Maybe it's the blue character because Alicia wins every time. <laughs> this is true. Yeah. Yeah. So <laughs> secretly the blue that. character. Okay, what are you doing? I do not like. You're supposed to any have these turns element. planned out. Come yeah, on now. yeah. Okay, this no, is odd for me do? not to know. <clears throat> you know what? I'm going to just attack Caleb's. Guardian. Guardian. Okay. Roll a one again. You, you have one plus a five. five That's uh, one damage. One is six. Okay. Is is three okay. plus two, so five. Yeah, yeah. You're taking the damage. Um. Uh. So yeah, it's it's enough. It's three plus two is five. You roll six. Six. And kill a six. I uh, just put there as a damage. So he did do two damage to it. So your guardian is going to disappear. Uh, Why do you, do you attack me? What did he, it do to you? He needs to get through the space. Yeah. I thought he could go over. He, he can, can, but you have to take two, two movement to do that. <laughs> so uh, that was two going, actions. Yeah, did you give a quest for defeating a guardian? Uh, also, when you defeated a guardian, you're going to get a soul, and you're going to draw a loot card. And I'm going to read what that is. A guardian kill. You gain an artifact. Nice. And remember, three souls equals one ascendancy point. Helm of War, spend any two mana during your attacks this turn, roll an extra dice when attacking, choose one result. Wow, that's where the extra die comes in handy. I want Wait, that. can you play two objective cards um, when is, somebody does something to you? I imagine you can. It said, increase your defense by one permanently. Uh, if you complete, is the, what, if, what you, is the quest? What is the quest? Did you finish, did you complete the quest? It just says... Increase your defense see. by one permanently. It should be an objective. Oh, no. Or... If if you increase your defense by one, you can then gain this reward. Or if mm-hmm. you do this, so the objective is what you need to do, and the mm-hmm. reward is what you get. You need a different way to do All the right, objective. And with mm-hmm. killing Caleb with a tree, I actually do get yes, the reward you for do. killing a Oh, I forgot. I totally forgot about so that. You're going to get an ascendancy, and a soul, soul and, and a loot card. card. Yes. Oh. Yes. I just didn't think. I just forgot about that. Um, you're going to get a spell card. Nice. That's beefy. Heroic strength. Add plus one to my attack permanently. Wow. Uh, what is that? I, yeah. I this. How come I have one, one, one? <laughs> That's what I just said. <laughs> All right. Yeah. I'm going to... You get one space. That end. Nope. Yeah. You can get a bonus move. I attacked. Attacked. Oh, attacked. Attack attack my right. turn. Yeah. Nice mm-hmm. try trying to get those extra moves. You already got enough stuff on your cheater. turn. <laughs> See, you should have just went over me twice. There was no reason for you oh. to attack me. I need I damage to it. You just steal a mana. Two, turns. two red, two blue. I wanted to go on the defensive spot. I get to steal a mana from somebody. Oh, I have. Uh... Two blue, purple, and red. Thank you, level four. How huh. I want. Hmm. Oh. I don't have any other choice. Nobody else has one. Okay. Uh, two red. 
a blue. And then I get four actions this turn. Action one is going to be to spend for a spell card. I hope these are our scroll card. I'm drawing one of these guys here. All right. <gasps> Action number two is I'm going to play Control Monster. I take control of one monster on the board, and the chosen monster swipes and does damage to everything on all adjacent tiles. And I'm going to swipe your guy. No. <laughs> so you're going to go back. You lose a soul if you have one. I do not. Okay. I'm going to gain an AP and a soul. And I'll go back. Okay. And I'm going to a loot card. Oh, that's not it, though. We're just getting started here. Uh, hero kill again, an artifact. Mm -hmm. Okay. And you may generate a purple mana at no cost in your turn if you have a purple mana. I do, so I'll just take that. Uh, then I actually have a quest. To kill a character? Uh, kill, with, kill with the Trent. Uh, yes. Trent. So, yeah. Trent. You like to correct me on that, don't you? All right. How about I don't care what it's pronounced, okay? The Trent is what I'm saying. All right, and one spell and one artifact as well. How do you have three points already? I, I killed her mm -hmm. as the first time, and then I used this card just now to give me one of those, one artifact, and one spell card. Okay, all right. Oh, this is not super great. I don't think I want that. Oh, I can roll a one when defending, um, and it's automatic even uh, if the attacker rolls a six. That is super great. And that was two actions. I bought and played a spell card. I want to buy more of those. That's what's up right there. Hmm. I need to generate... Okay, okay, okay. Hmm, two actions, two more left. I think two green. Oh no, I can't buy, I can't, I can't get the green that way. <gasps> I do have a, a soul now, so I can do another mana shrine though. No, you have to get one, one of each color plus your soul. Red, red. Hmm, well we're gonna take one of these for one. And I can't. We can't summon guardians still. Yep. No guardians. No, we can. You can hold as much mana. Oh, as you oh, like. I like that oh, one. Right. Okay, I like that one. We're gonna keep that one. You can summon now. Yeah. I need. I need a mana shrine out. I can't do it just yet. So I think I'll just get another red and call it a day. I'm done. Here's all the things. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, oh an know. extra turn? Yeah, so action. extra action. Well, it's extra action, action yeah. Uh, what the, minus one to my fight? Uh, no, no, that's just all, your Guardian's oh, attack. Okay, okay I don't uh, You can I go ahead and give me all these completed quests. You've already done them, so I can just discard them. Okay. Yours Every as well. shrine and Guardian built, it uncovers an ascendancy point on that player's board. So wait, what? Oh, see, there's bo there's points on our board too. That's what you're saying. We uncovered them. Oh. Yes. So, so as in we essence, them, every shrine and guardian gives you a point. As long as it's as long as it's uh, on uh -huh. the board, basically, uh -huh. I think. Yeah. And then this attack is just for this turn. Yes. So I need it now. Two yellow. Okay. I have. So right now I've got four technically because I have one of these mana shrines out. Action. Ooh, I gotta get these mana shrines out then. Okay. I will. Wait, can, do I have enough? Purple. I don't know. Yellow. Do you? Yes. Do you? Do you? Yes. So I'm going to go one, two, and then I'll summon my Minotaur. Are you sure it's not Minotaur? <laughs> Minotaur? Yeah. And I'll put him here so that'll give me one. Do I put this attack power up or? Uh, for what? For him being there. Uh, no, no, no. He, uh, it would be the blue die. Oh, wait, yeah, yeah, yes, yes, yeah. you do. No, you do. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. When okay. you place that guy there, it gives, you a, he goes away. gives yeah. you a permanent stat increase until it goes away. All right. And you gain an ascendancy point, technically, yes. as well. Uh, and I have one more action. I'll move 
to the blue and generate a blue mana. Okay. Go ahead, Caleb. So I get the green dice green as well. Green. Mm. Two yellow, a purple, and guardian attack, but I don't have one out. Um. So, I can summon this again, right? Sure. Mm -hmm. It'll cost um, the main... Uh, it'll bottom. also go to an adjacent space, though. So, you'll only be able to put it on that purple oh. or that... Uh, yeah. Guardians go adjacent to you. And mana Shrines go on the space you're on. So, do you want to just put it on an adjacent... Maybe you want to move first and then place the Guardian. Mm-hmm. So you could technically okay. move it, you move your character here and then place the Guardian here and have it fight the Trent whenever Guardians attack. Mm, that is a good idea. There you go. That's all, action. That's all your actions. Um, Max, you're up. Dice, please. Uh, plus the green one too, right? Yes. Everyone gets a green die now. You get a green and you get a green. <laughs> All right, so first is Guardians Attack. No Guardians. Uh, next is Monsters. Roll a die for the Monsters. Bum, 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 bum. Three. Three. Uh, the Dragon Attacks, doing a damage to the Gazer. Oh, two out of four now for the Gazer. Yes. Guardians can be placed adjacent to a shrine or tower, regardless okay. of where the hero is. Okay. Okay, so um, adjacent to a tower or a shrine. Okay. Wait, not not adjacent to no, the no, hero. No, 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 adjacent to your towers or shrines. Okay, so I gotta move this guy. Yeah, you can move it like right here. But the, I don't, uh, what's what, useful what is, though? <laughs> Maybe next to my shrine. Yep. There we go. What is the loot die? You lose your stat though. Okay. Ah, uh, the minus loot. One to attack for this round. I need a blue and a green, please. The loot dice. What is that one? Blue and a green. Uh, the loot die. Um, well, I don't, I'm not, it's not, these are resource die, unless they change the wording on them. I'm going to move two, and I'm going to collect a yellow. Oh, you can't collect a yellow by being on the space. Mm -hmm. Everything you, pl co everything you play costs one yellow less right now. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, It's like a works. cost reduction. Yes, yeah. that works, that works then. I can see the card, and I'll try and, I'll give you my best description It narrative. just says loot oh. dice. Using the yellow reduction, I will spend the rest of my mana to upgrade my tower to level okay. three. I'll really take those. Die. And that will be the end of my turn. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe they'll explain it. I don't know. Um, my turn. I need all the things. Okay, I need all the different colors. Uh, green. Wow, a lot of things are going to happen here. Mm -hmm. Okay, the things happen first. Right? Yes, yeah. yes. So, Guardian's Attack, that's nothing. Uh, monster, let's see what mm -hmm. happens. Three. Uh, the Dragon. So, the Dragon's going to hit the Gazer again. And what about my guardian? Uh, your guard, yeah, well, it'll take a damage, but it needs two damage to be defeated. In the same turn? In the same turn, okay. yes. Okay. Uh, then I'm going to get a red and a green resource, and I get four actions this turn. And also... Hmm. No, no. I want, I can't kill, I can kill the Trant if, if I roll a six. Or the Gazer, I mean, the Gazer, I can kill a Gazer if I roll a six. I can generate a free purple because I own a purple space. And I can generate a yellow at no cost as well because I'm on a yellow space. You're on a green space, good sir. That's, That's me. Oh! Where, where the heck am I? You are right here. Oh, that's far away. It's not where I want to be. That's okay. That's okay. So what do I got? I got purple, green, 
yellow, and red. And four actions. One, two, three. I'm gonna have to fly all the way back home. Is there any other? Oh, that, that's great over there for you. Mm hmm. Hmm. Okay, one, two, three, oops, and four. I guess that's the, the sad play. It's the flying away play. Oh, but I get to keep all this stuff, because I don't have to give away mana. All right. There you go. Thank you. Okay, I can ignore the rule, but I don't want to, <laughs> maybe. Uh, uh, you do, either I way. Have okay. You have to, okay, yes. So I just can't. That, that's technically a die that just things yeah, happen. Yeah, gotcha. uh, Attack, yep, roll your die. Monsters attack. Uh, fives. One, two, three, Gazer. four. Gazer is going to hit the dragon for one damage. And hit me for one. And no, that's not the dragon. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. The, the dragon. Yeah, he hits it. Okay. Okay. And it yeah. hits Max. And as it hits me, it does my objective, which is survive an attack from any monster. Which is a plus one to my defense. Okay. All right. And I'll get a red and a green. Then I hit those. What's this symbol? Is that a soul? Uh, I believe so, yeah. Okay. I don't have that. I will summon the my spirit. And let's put it right here. Good, it makes it easier to get killed. <laughs> and then, and because of that, I did another objective. Summon a guardian, place it on the board. Reward plus one to my guardians. Wow. Okay. There you go. That's um, one thing. Hmm. Sorry. All right, yeah. I don't know. You can, yeah, you, that's you, one. It's <laughs> your turn, not mine. Okay, and then I want to move... One, one, and two. Okay, that's it. Three. Uh, uh, what, yeah, okay. Yeah. Like asking like a question, no. like I know the answer. I'm like looking at my own stuff here. Ignore rule. Okay. Green. Oh, you ignored the rule of reason. Okay, you don't yeah, have Yeah, I don't have fine. Enough. All right, so sadly you can't hold resources up to... You can only hold five. Yeah, they're fine. But you're going to get more. So you're going to get two blue, a bl no, blue, a purple, and a green. Wow, what is it with you guys enrolling different colors? <laughs> Michael, you get two greens. So, okay. Okay. I need to start summoning some monsters Yeah, out. I need I need a soul. Two, three, four, five. How do you, okay, yeah, so the defeat something for a soul. Uh, are you ending your turn? You still no. have three actions. Yeah, you, the, at the end of your turn, okay. they go away. Yeah. You can spend your... It's like... Yeah, spend them first. Yeah, yeah spend them if you can. Uh -huh. Either you get spell Unless card you can't. or artifact, maybe. You can ignore hmm. having a red card. I think cost. you get an artifact. Do you have another green? No. Okay. You can turn them in. Two. You can trade them in, too. Mm-hmm. How? How do you turn them in? Uh, on, on the board here, this is three, any three for one, and then over here is any two of the same color for one, which is why I went all the way there on my turn. But, and I can still attack with her right there? You can attack, move, and turn in if you want, or attack, attack, and move and turn in. It's up to you. Oh, wait, with her right there? Yeah, you can move onto the same space. So you can, uh, you can go here, you can attack this monster, or you can go here and trade three for one. It's really up to you what you want to do. Action one is to move. Okay, action two is to attack. So you need to hit um, five, five up. And you roll two <laughs> plus two is four, no good. Uh, we have one more action left. You can move over here and turn three for one in if you'd like. Three mana for mm. one. Three of any, any kind, so. Two, two, three. And I'll also let you move away from the treant in case it attacks. Mm -hmm. So tower three, I need red you just need a red so you trade you take the you get rid of a purple a blue and another purple and you get a red if you wanted yep purple blue and another purple or another yellow depends what you want 
Yep, and you get a red. And then at the end of your turn, you would lose one. And Max's turn. I also need the orange dice. Sure. Man, this is <laughs> this is the old school three now. I need to move up. I need souls for that. Okay, so you're gonna do uh, steal a mana from anybody. Steal a mana. That's right. Mm -hmm. Let's see. What do I need? What do I need? What do I need? You stole from me last time, but... You, you, don't, you don't need my two blue? <laughs> One of my two blues? <laughs> I don't have blue. That's what I need next. Actually, yeah, I'm going to take one of your blue. Okay. You get, you're getting two blue. I know. That's actually <laughs> a good thing for me. All right, you stole. So you're going to get two more blue. And... You when play I, your special. Yeah, nice. When I generate mm -hmm. three blue... Yep. Um... I'm going to do this at tier two because it says you must generate three blue mana during your turn by rolling resource. Oh, so by rolling Yeah, it'd be all only. three. It'd have to be from, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so you're going to so do... I'm going to do tier one, which mm -hmm. is get generate three mana, blue mana during your yep. turn by rolling resource die and or generating blue mana mm -hmm. from tiles. Your what do you what get? Do you get? <laughs> we know what that is. Move card? on. A spell... Uh, okay, scroll. Great. Yeah. All right. Now you get four actions. Ooh. I'm going to use the spell for my, which is Mana Bomb. Discard all of your mana and cause an explosion which damages everything adjacent to the hero for one damage. You need to have a minimum of three mana cards to use this card. So, get rid of all my mana. I'm going to do one damage to everything. Sorry, Michael. Do one damage to every, we mean everything. Everything and adjacent to me. I'm doing yeah. one damage to. So he's going to kill the gazer? Wow. Yep, I'm going to kill the gazer, and which activates my... That's not the gazer. I know. Which activates my gazer slayer, which gives me a reward of two spell cards, one artifact, and one assembly. Okay, well, let's, let's, let's do, do this in order, please, yeah. so I don't lose track for... No. Stop. Thank you. You're going to get one ascendancy for killing the gazer. Yes. Because it was the first time it died. And a soul. Yes. You can turn souls in three to one for ascendancy points. Then you're going to gain a loot card for killing it. And that is going to give you a spell card, and you're going to increase your guardian by one. Then you're going to do your objective, which is going to give you two more spell cards, one artifact, and one ascendancy. So you can go ahead and take those. I'm not going to reach for them for you. Yep. And you still have... Plus one to my defense. I believe you still have, what, two more actions left? How many actions have you taken? I've only taken one action of using the card. So you have three more actions left. Mm -hmm. You can also turn your three souls into ascendancies, if you, ascendancy if you'd like. Is it an action to use a artifact card? Uh, are, no, artifacts are just you play them out. They're like, they're like passive abilities you get. And some of these mm -hmm. guys require, you, require an action point, though, unless it says otherwise. Uh, you can turn three souls in for an ascendancy point. Yep. You want to do that? Not yet. Okay. You can also use it for currency mm -hmm. as well. I'm going to use... Action two. Action two to go there. Okay. Action three, I will move on to... Yep. My resource die spot. And you can actually... You have one, one extra action. Oh, I have one extra. Action. Can I actually attack that if you wanted to? Because it has one damage on it from the from the. Uh, no. Oh, it wasn't from the mm -hmm. gazer. Never mind. Nope. I did one damage on Jason to me. I could have done that and killed you. Oh, you could have tried. <laughs> I have special abilities. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, I got spells. <laughs> you ain't got nothing, punk. My turn. I'm gonna. Are you? You get one extra action. I'm gonna pick up a red. Mod. All right. Cool. That'll be it. My turn. And now the sh shards have, the hourglass has turned. Uh, yeah, where is everyone at as far as points? Uh, I've got three points, one soul. Um, Wait, you got and, and one extra point for having a man out. Okay. So a total of four. 
I have a total of four. Okay. Caleb's got one, two, three, four as well. Mm -hmm. I have a total of four. Yeah. We all have four in different ways. <laughs> Bam! That's going to get me a, another green. Where do you and, get the purple one? Well, wow, look at this attack. Wait, why'd you roll? Oh, oh I didn't get the purple one. Sorry. I'm, I'm like in my head. I'm like I'm super <laughs> excited. Uh, so guardi guardian <laughs> attacks. No, no guardians. Don't want to worry about that. I'm going to get a yellow and I'm going to get a green. Wow. See, I get like, I get shafted when it comes to resources. Okay. But I'm on the trading area. As the person who says has got the most resources. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, but look, they're all, I'm, I'm looking for, I have, that's why I had to go all the way across the board in one turn just to trade in for this. Now, I'm going to trade my soul in. I'm going to trade in uh, one of every color. And now you'll get the Wait, 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 wait. I need another one? What am I missing? Purple. You got purple. It's on your... Oh, there it is. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Here, I can get that. I got it. It's already too late. It's happening. And now... This will increase the power to four. And next time you can get the purple That's die. right. That's right. Uh, so that was two actions. Uh, with two attack power, though. How much health you got? Ah, two. It's not worth it. Hmm. What am I going to do here? <sighs> I'm on trade space, so I couldn't... I guess I could have moved to save myself a resource. I didn't think about that until now. Um, I have two actions left. I think one action, well, I'm gonna trade in this for a blue. And I'll take two red here for my last two actions. And I will turn these in uh, to a purple. Okay. okay, that's it. Dice, please. Thank you. Oh, guardians to attack. Okay, what does the heart mean? The heart will give you a life if you've okay. taken damage. Extra action. Yeah, I know you want your guardians to hit the monster. I know, that's what I've been waiting for. Right, I will return momentarily. Uh, yes. If anyone kills me, that's fine. I have nothing to lose. Okay. Or do you? Nope, no souls. I mean, you'll get ascendancy I'm, and stuff. Okay, I'm gonna go and attack Max. One, two, attacking Max's character. We'll roll our die. Eleven. Eleven? Why is eleven? Defense of five. Oh. Plus okay. the dice. Okay, great. I'm gonna change the. Attack dice and defense dice of the attacking and defending player. Swap these. <laughs> so what right? You I would guess this would have happened uh -huh. during during an attack, uh -huh. right? Okay. So, oh, is it the stat dice or the dice we rolled? Or both, all combined? Read it again. Change the attack dice and defense dice of the attacking and defending player. I think it's just, nothing. it's just the roll. Just the roll? Then that doesn't do anything. I don't think you get, I don't, you wouldn't get all, if you had a one and he had a five, that'd be way powerful. Yeah. I don't think you would just get all of his stats. Well, it's just for this attack. Oh. I don't know if it's the die you roll or, if, did he roll a die, right? You both yeah, roll a die? Yeah, yeah. It's either the die you roll or it's the base stat. Just the die rolled. It's the mm, die rolled. That's what that's, I thought. Okay, then this is not, I would not do that then. Okay, then don't use it. Okay. Would you not attack then? Probably, but because he's got five defense. And you only have one. <laughs> yeah. Ah. Yeah, okay. Let's retroactively change that then. So I would um, have also not done that. Oh, so this isn't. But can It's I so just, good. If he rolls a one, you roll a six, you can yeah, swap. Yeah, but I don't. You know I what? I guess. But it's, I wouldn't do it because he's got too much. You either. wouldn't attack him with it. Yeah. Well, yeah. maybe you would. I don't know. Maybe you increase your defense and then he rolls a well, six, you roll a one. I could you swap also just it. attack. Plus one to my attack permanently. Uh, I, so, okay, we'll play I I don't think you get a plus one to your attack permanently. I think that it's, uh, it's instead of it being this and give maybe it's, is it oh, both? Oh, why didn't they cross that out then? Oh, okay, maybe it is then. Okay, get, well, it's fine. Yeah, because I'll get that at least. Okay. And that'll go away. And then, okay. I still have one action. I can now try to attack the dragon. 
Okay. So I have plus two now. Six plus two is eight. Which you will Good. succeed and do damage to the dragon. Yay! Oh, Which you kill, kill it. the dragon. Yes. No! <laughs> Alright, you get this, and you get this. Yes. And you're going to get this, which is increase your guardian by one. Great. Okay. Man. Level four. And then that yes, your go. roll becomes a six, which becomes an automatic hit. Um, did you roll a five? I rolled a six. We both rolled sixes. Yeah. Oh, the six is a win when you attack. Oh, okay. It's an automatic. It doesn't matter. that We're rect- we, we changed. I'm not yeah, going to go back yeah, again. Mm-hmm. <laughs> But yes, when you roll a six, like mm-hmm. I said, you automatically win and if you roll on attack. And if you roll a, a one on defense, you automatically lose. Okay. So I call, I call it, it D&D rolls. Okay. 20 and one, six and one. Natural one. Natural one, natural, natural six. 20, yeah. natural six. The nat six, bro. <laughs> so you both rolled sixes. Yeah, you would have yeah. just won that, actually. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh. Um, would it have killed him? Yes. You did do that attack. Yeah. Oh, you did yeah, the attack. Yeah, and I didn't. I didn't take it back or anything. What is? Who did you attack? Max. Um. Yeah. Yeah, because you did the attack. You decided to do it. Mm-hmm. So you automatically win. Yeah. So you're gonna lose a soul, buddy, and she's gonna gain an AP. And you're gonna gain. A, she's gonna gain a soul as well. Uh, this is gonna flip to two, and you're gonna go back. Yeah, because you did it. So, right. uh, if you were have said chosen not to, though, then I would have. Oh yeah, for sure. Okay. Um, this says decrease actions by one. Minimum of two. one action is always allowed. Mm-hmm. You get a spell card too. Spell card, dear. Okay. Uh, wait, wait, what? You get what? decrease actions by one. Okay. Minimum so of you're, one all, action all get, is allowed. Yeah, we, we all get. Yeah, so, we all get. We all get two actions now instead of three. Mm-hmm. But we're always at least going to get one in case there's cards that, like, change that. So... If Max made you lose two actions and that card made you lose um, one, you'd at least get to take it. Yeah, no losing a turn. One. So yeah. then That's for good. my second action, I can just yep. upgrade my power. Give me that. Power. Welcome to it. level three, baby. <laughs> okay. Power level three. Woo! Orange dice, please. Um, yep. How many points are you at now? One, two, I'm three, four, six. five, six. Yeah. All right, so I need a red, green, and purple, please. Uh, a red, a green, and a purple. Guardians do nothing for you. Uh, you're going to get a bonus action. So you get three actions this turn. And now you can only have five cards. Yes. Oh, I need two souls. How am I going to get me some of them? Attack. Don't kill me. <laughs> I I'm, I'm the weakest among all the peoples. I'm not getting any I don't have loot. one defense. <laughs> all, the, all the small things spawned over there. Yeah, I know. I, right? I have the gazer and the dragon up here for a while. I honestly do not like the fact that we can only do two actions. Well, that's, that's it is bad. what it is. Mm-hmm. One is the minimum. Yeah, but I don't. I don't like that. <laughs> I'm sorry. Well, do two Just things. Do it. I don't yeah. care what you do. One, One two. two. Change the rule. Nice yep. for everyone else. <laughs> Lots the loot. Roll the loot dice a second time after killing a monster. What is the loot dice? Um, I don't think there I keep is. asking that. I d- and I don't know the answer. I don't think there is a loot die. I think you just need to flip over the, the new card. No. Loot card. Uh, oh. Flip over a new one. I think that the die has been removed from this game. I think that the cards are another thing. So flip over a new rule. Something else. Mana shortage blue. You do not generate any blue mana. <laughs> that is sad. Uh, luckily, at least I have one blue. Okay, it's my turn. I'm going to take all the die, including this one here now. And I'm going to show you what's up. Oh. Loot cards used to be dice. Yes, yeah. that's what I thought. Uh, I don't generate blue. That's sad. Okay, well, lots of damage, I guess. Okay, so uh, first Guardian's attack, no good, but a monster does attack. Um, basically, I'm probably just going to summon a monster, realistically. Uh, three, the dragon's going to come out. Bam, oh, guarding oh. his whore. Oh, no, around <laughs> all of Callie's things. Uh, I can't generate blue, but I will get a red. I got two bonus attack. 
Ah, what can I... I need souls very mm -hmm. badly. You can go and attack Callie. Yeah, but I have to kill her to get a soul. She's already died once, right? Yes. So I'd only get a soul from her if I defeated her. The dragon as well. Mm -hmm. The dragon's already been defeated too. Mm -hmm. I, I get three actions. Hmm. I cannot get the tower up anymore. I can get a red. I, I can get a free purple because I own a purple area from my my special Try. card here. Oh. Yes, I can move one space and get a free yellow. Um, mm. I can't buy anything yet, so I've got. I need two reds and two blues. So I've got one. I've spent one action so far. Look at all my stuff I have, and I can't buy <laughs> it. I need, I need so, them souls. So Callie technically mm -hmm. has six ascendancy points right yeah. now. Yeah. <laughs> she could try and kill me next turn, too, I suppose. <laughs> oh, we got one health. Yes, I do. Um, mm. Let's see. But I do have a plus three to attack, and you have a three to defense. So I got two actions left. Uh, she has a one. I have one defense. Oh, one. But three on is my guardian. Okay. I think I will attack you then. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and attack you. Uh, let me see what I can do here. Hmm. Did you play mm. your swapsies uh, as an action or no? It was It was an attack. So you didn't use that as an action then? I mean, it's a written in card, so I wasn't sure if it was actually yeah. an action or not. Yeah, well, it's part of the attack, I figured. Okay. The way it's written. I would imagine so as well. Um, I have something similar. Uh, okay, so I'm going to get a plus one, two, and three to your one. Right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Three. Five. So six versus six. I will... Um, Increase my attack by one for this turn. No. <laughs> no, it doesn't kill you. You have two oh. health, right? Yeah, I do. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I'd love to kill you, but uh, <laughs> I, I forgot. I forgot that I've been hit before. All right, so now I've got like, an extra bonus attack. So now I've got these two plus one, so I'm at three attack. And I'm going to attack you again now, uh -huh. so it's four to your one. <laughs> A six. A and six. a six. I, I win. I auto win anyways on attack because I rolled a six. Oh, right. Yes. Okay. Critical so, hit. yeah, it's a critical, critical hit. hit. Even if it wasn't, I would still have won. Uh -huh. um, so, that is going to be... No, no. You lose a soul. And I, uh, I, get, I get one soul for defeating you. I, get, I don't get an ascendancy, though. Just mm -hmm. a soul. That I've already been defeated. Okay. Picking on the weak. It's not that I wanted mm -hmm. to. Mm. Those are all my actions, so I'm going to have to discard down. Uh, and I guess I'll discard a purple and a red, because I already have these. That makes me sad. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, darkness, my old friend. Okay, I'm done. Okay. Dice, please. You get all of them, but no. my shiny no purple. purple. Did I get, yeah, I got rid of your soul, too, so you can't get it. Well, I have one soul still. I know you need two, though, in order to get the... Oh, no, you no. can. Uh -uh. Oh. You, you do get an ascendancy for killing the player the first time. Okay. Oh, for me killing the player yes. the first time. No, no, I was already killed before, though. No, no, but he killed you oh. for the first time. I see, I see. Okay, okay that's cool. Yeah, I think there's going to be mm. something to track that on here. Yeah, there's hopefully a tracker on the board yeah. so that okay. we can know. Or on Book our specific player please. boards. Nothing. Yeah, because you have one. Oh, we do have little little tracks yeah. here. Yeah, yeah. I'm just not sure what to put there. Hmm. Okay. Okay, and then monsters attack. So my guardians. Oh, use the back of these. One. Use the back of these guys here. Wait, who defeated what us? I've, who I've, we've defeated? Yeah, who you defeated? Yeah. Okay. I've defeated just that. I've and the so yeah. Everything that I'll get two purple. And Caleb defeated the treant, right? Mm hmm. Okay, go ahead and put that face down Wait, on the tree. The treant didn't die. I no, did. The, oh, the, what do you call the it? banshee. The, banshee. Yeah. Banshee. The banshee. Yeah. I 
Oh, serious Bitch. business. I know. Yeah. Okay. Right, right, one right next to your blue die. Yep, there you go. I'm going to do, okay, I have four action. One to move, one to get a green. The ascendancy point goes on the track for the first time you kill a model, depending ah, on the Ah, that makes sense. So th this just goes here. So your ascendancy point you got for it goes there. Oh, I beat you. Oh. I get a card. I get one of these guys too, Callie. Okay. Uh, I get a spell card. I defeated the Wait, dragon. so these don't go here? No, sorry. I, I the, the ascendancy point that we gained for that kill goes there. Then I don't, okay. I can't have that. No, that's correct. I was wrong. Okay. Spell card. And then scroll card. I'm reduced like by red, and I'm going to take my soul, and I'm going to get a mana shrine. Oof. Yeah. I've been wanting one of them. And I'm going to place they give us. They give you ascendancy, too. Jeez, um, one, two. Wait. She's yes. at seven points. Yes. <laughs> Good. We got to kill our guardians. No, don't kill my guardians. All right. Anything else? And I have one more action. I'll get a green. No, I already got a green. I'll get a yellow. Okay. Uh, you have to place your mana shrine on a space that you occupy. Oh, where I'm at. Okay. Yes. That's fine. Okay, so I get the orange dice this time. Nice. Steal one mana. Yep. So I've got these guys here. This means an extra action? Yes. So first take a mana from anybody you'd like. Remember, you're going to be getting a blue, purple, and a green, so you might not yeah. want those. Oh, yeah. Maybe you do, though. Maybe you want two of one of them. Um. <laughs> I have. I don't care about mine at all. I don't, I don't know what I want. Let's see. Yeah, I'll take one of your yellow. You got it. There you go. So blue, purple, and then green mana. Blue. Purple and green, there you go. Thank you. Where am I? I'm <laughs> over here. Mm -hmm. I like that. I like the, it's, 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 I thought originally when we were playing that it was when you uh, defeat when one thing is defeated for the first time, you yeah. can't get it. So that's it's a little quicker, but it still makes you not want to target somebody more than once. So one action. Yep. Second action. Yep. Attack. You got Six. it. That's automatic hit. And you got another action. Now you got two more actions left. So I can attack okay. it again. Yeah, you can attack it two more times if you want. Uh, three, Boo. four, five. Not enough. <laughs> one more action left. You might not want to weaken it too much unless unless you think that no one's going to attack it by you your next turn. Max. Which actually might be, you might be okay. Yeah. Mm -mm. He is three, he's two spaces away. I'm not away. getting over there. Maybe <laughs> he, might, he might spend his whole turn to get there and defeat it. It might be worth mm -hmm. it for an ascendancy point. So maybe you don't want to. Um, you could take a resource of your choosing that you own, a blue or a purple. So you can get another spell card later or something. You can't build anything, so you might as well just take some, move or take something. That's really your options. Okay. All your stuff costs one less red. Your turn, Max. Thanks, please. All of them but the lavender? Yep. Okay. All right, so you're ignoring the rule, which, which is not nothing. nothing. <laughs> okay, and then you're going to get to roll a monster for attacking? Yep. All right, let's see what happens. Five. Five. Uh, Gazer. The Gazer's going to pop back up. And I get a blue and a yellow, please. You got it. Boop and boop. And now that I have one of each color, I'm going to upgrade my tower to level four. Ah, uh, plus a soul. Yep. Yep, you got it. Welcome to Lavender Town. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Towel is getting bigger. All right. That's action one. Yep. Two more. Probably want to move. Yeah, I'm going to move here. Yep. Guardia, that's a, yep. For one second year, action. A defense for now. Then I will just take a green. You got it. 
Thank All you. right, here we go. Give me, give me something good. Mm -hmm. oh, lots of stuff. Okay, so I've actually got Guardians Attack. That's no good. I don't have guard. I should start oh, putting yeah. Guardians out. I know, right? They're points too. I know, I know. Um, so monster. Let's go ahead and see what monsters do. Uh, that's a two. That's a treant. It's gonna swing at Caleb for one damage. Caleb's person for one damage. Yep. Your oh, your guardian. Yep. Okay. Yeah, that's that's probably okay. That's probably okay. Yeah. Sadly. Uh, and then I'm gonna get a purple, green, and yellow. That's okay. That's and I get a bonus of one attack this turn. Um, so I'm gonna summon my Manticore. I think yellow. Now do you also get a minus one to attack? No, no, no. That's a guard. It's a guardian. Sorry, guardian's, guardian's attack. attack. I'm gonna yeah. spend these. Th so my first action is to spend mm -hmm. these three. I'm gonna bring out my Manticore, I suppose, and we'll bring it um, here. Right next to your shrine, there. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I need to start actually using my 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 dudes. I think um, I'm gonna get a free purple. Um, I'm gonna get a free yellow for controlling the yellow area. I have two actions left though. I'm going to move one space here. So I have one action left. And I am going to dump two purple for a, uh, ooh, no, 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 I'm not. Oh. Ooh, I, I goofed a little bit, didn't I? Cause I just realized I could have got a red. Maybe I will. Maybe I will do this then, I guess, since I already goofed. I'll turn in two purple uh, for a green. It's one thing I can't actually get. And I'll turn in the two yellow and two green for another artifact. Mm -hmm. And that will end my turn. It says, teleport my hero to any tile I own at the cost of two actions. So I can mm -hmm. basically fly to these two areas. Oh. <laughs> well, I guess on this guy too. Yeah. Um, not terrible, I suppose, especially since I can teleport. Uh, that is it. Here we okay, go. no lavender die for me. Ah. The lavender die is Oz. I chose the tower instead. The shrine. Okay, steal one mana. Ooh, crazy. I have a blue one. I... Want a blue one? Red and green. <laughs> want a green one. You want this one here? Keep wanting to target me with that. Let's yep. see how this goes. <laughs> And then one attack for this turn. So this game usually went 11 points, but we're playing up to nine. Yes. And this is called uh, Ascendancy Quest for Dominance. And in this game, you're going, we're basically rolling dice, gathering the values, and doing any actions the dice present, 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 and then we'll take three actions, which usually involve moving, buying and placing, or attacking. Uh, defeating things will give us points to win the game, as well as loot cards. And... Um, Oh, you can also complete quests for ascendancy points. Uh, you can gain all kinds of different things like playing scroll cards um, and artifacts that give you benefits, etc., etc. Yeah, I'm going to spend a purple, a yellow, and a green to bring out my manticore. Oh and my gosh. One, two, three, four, five, eight five, points. Eight. Okay, we need to kill I need one her guardians. More. No! If we can, before it's too... Maybe she can play another one. <laughs> and I don't know. then... Uh, no, I need a soul for that one. Good. The Phoenix. Yeah. And so I need to go kill some stuff. So I'm going to go one, two, and that'll be it. I only have five. My guardians didn't attack again. <laughs> <laughs> we need we need your monsters attack. Monsters attack, and then you need to roll six... Tw yes! Uh, so first... Oh you, my. So you can steal a mana from somebody. Uh -huh. Um... <sighs> Callie has blue, purple, and red. I have a blue, and uh, Max a has a red. So you can take any one man of many, buddy. That's the first thing you have to do. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I guess I'll take a red. Uh, from Callie or from Max? Yeah. Callie, okay. Now you're going to roll mm -hmm. one, one die for a monster to attack. Or to be summoned, depending on what happens. As a three, three, that means the dragon will attack. It's going to do one damage to both guardians here and to the gazer. And then you're going to roll another die again to another attack. That is a two. Uh, Which the, is the tree. The tree will attack, doing one damage to this. 
So these guys right now for this round have a damage on them, and so does this. So you can actually kill these guys if you got to them and were able to attack them. So they need to take two damage on a turn, otherwise they'll reset back to two health. Mm -hmm. mm. Okay, and, and now you're going to get one purple, and you're going to have four actions on your turn. Um, okay, so I'll bring out the manticore. Okay, action one is to bring out a manticore. So oh, we're adjacent to um, your tower or one of your shrines. Mm -hmm. So so I could place, could I place it over there? As long as it's it... on a green area, yeah, I can place it on the green area, yeah, I can place it here basically. Or I can place it here. Yes. I guess here. Okay. So that was the first action. Yeah, we got three actions left. Juicy meat. Um, I guess we'll attack one. the tree. And... Okay, so you have two actions left. Attack one. Oh. <laughs> attack one is a six. It's a success. And you have one more action left. Attack it again. Get it. <laughs> and you need to hit a uh, four plus. That's a oh. three plus two is five. Just, just shy. Nothing from your and scroll card. Yeah. For attack. Making sure. <laughs> no. Okay. Uh, if not, then you have all, you've used all your actions. Yeah, that's it. Give me all of the time. Yeah, welcome to Lavender Town. <laughs> Alright, so you're first going to uh, flip over a rule, and the new rule is going to be that you can generate double amount of yellow. For every yellow mana card you would receive, you get two. So you get, one, you get two yellow instead of one. Um, next is monster attack, so we're going to roll the die. Uh, three. three. So that the means dragon. the dragon's gonna swing. It's gonna pop, pop, pop. Okay. Now. They all have one damage on mm -hmm. them. Okay, so they reset after every turn. They yeah. reset after every turn, yes. So you have to, in order for you, for instance, you want to kill one, you have to move one, two spaces, and then you can attack. I or like to one, one space. like to move one space. This is mine? Oh, that is yours. Yeah. That's correct, you can. Attack. Yes, yeah, I didn't realize that was yours. So you like to move one space. Okay. Uh, her, her guardian is a three, so a three plus uh, the spirit is three, so that's yeah. a total of six. Yes. So you're, and you have an attack of two. But I also have a... Uh, plus one is three. Plus one, so... So you need a four need... plus. Four plus to get rid of her. Mm -hmm. uh, that's three, not... but I am going to use Warcry, which is rolling extra dice. Yep. Really? That bad for a little? And that little did cry. All right. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> wow. So, All that. okay, that was, she's not, it's not dead. Oh. No? Uh, so now you have uh, two more actions left. One more action. Uh, you have, you've got a bonus action for this. Oh. I'm going to attack again. Okay. Four plus. Five. That, oh. that does it. Spirit goes. Uh, you're going to get a soul for killing the spirit, and you're going to get a loot card. Oops. And the loot card is going to give you nothing. <laughs> Literally nothing. Nothing. So All the nothing. Callie has seven. Oh, you have one more action left? Yeah, I'm mm -hmm. back down to seven. So you have seven. She can still just play that. That's her easiest one, though. Mm -hmm. Michael has Michael and I have, have five. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, I have three, six. plus I killed her, and then I have a mana shrine oh, and the manticore. Yeah. So you have six, I have five, Callie seven, Max is at four. One, two, three, four, yes. All right, you have one more action left on Max. I'm gonna... I'm just gonna take a uh, green. A green it is. All right, I'm up. Ooh, okay. So an extraction is nice. Guardian's attack is actually rather relatively nice as well. Um, so my guardian will attack, and it's going to do one damage to the gazer. gazer? No. I believe. I don't think it rolls. I think it just does the damage. I'll be corrected, I'm sure, if I'm wrong. But I think it just does the damage to everything adjacent. Um, if it does everything adjacent, I will take a damage. Yes. I, I don't think it rolls for each. Um, and then it's going to, I'm going to get to have monsters attack. So I'm going to roll this die here. I'm going to hope that I get the dragon. Or a six. A four? Uh, four is Cerebus. Or this. 
Cerberus comes Cerberus. out right next okay, to yeah. Callie's character. All right. Okay. <laughs> that was the least thing I wanted to happen, but... Three monsters in the same area. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay, I'm not going to do any of that. Um, so I've got four actions, and I get two red cards. Two red, red, red. I got that there. Ah... <sighs> I think I'll turn these two red into a a yellow, I imagine. Okay, now my four actions. What do I want to do? Um, I'll get a free purple. That's always nice. Purple, yellow, blue. Action one is to get a red, because I own this area. I'll spend all four of these for my Minotaur. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I will place this here, giving me an extra boost to my attack. So that's two actions, right? Hmm, the gazer is an eight. That yeah, is too rough, difficult. Um... Yeah, it's too difficult for me, I'm afraid. Uh, I'd like to kill it. That would be very nice. Mm -hmm. uh, I only have two actions left, huh? One, I think I'll fly over here. Okay, that's the end of my turn. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven victory points now. All right. Dice, please. I also only have one HP. Dice. Oh, <laughs> fancy dice. There you go. Let's get not the lavender. Oh yeah. yeah, you're not on Lavender Town. <laughs> you haven't earned. You do not have yeah. the right. Okay, I can ignore the. I have to ignore the rule. Okay, one extra action, and I'll get. Oh, double yellow. Just, but I just get one. I don't think I got. I don't. I didn't roll yellow, so I don't think it mattered. Okay, I need to spend, spend keys, get my spirit back out. Back to eight. Oh, my guardian's a plus one as well, because yes. I have the, I have my manticore there. Oh, okay. And so go, I can go around he, around this one. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, uh, any mana shrine you have or your uh, main location. Do I want to go? Yeah. I don't, I don't know. Do you? Uh, do you? You can control a blue space in case you get something fancy. Well, I do have the blue ring. I got oh. <gasps> cool. Sorry. I got it. I got it. Okay, thank you. No damage. And then... Um, you can just have a blue one. mana for free. Yes. Well, that would be the obvious choice, in my opinion. <laughs> and then, well, I wanted to teleport there, but I can't now. Because you're on the space, correct? I'm on what space? Yes, oh, you can't go there. Yeah. I don't uh, think I'm going to get the tree. I think Kale's going to take care of that before I get a chance to. But I figured I might as well be there. Put yeah, some pressure on him. Yeah. Give you a little, give you a little, uh, little difficulty. Can't let you keep having the free, uh. free go at it. Mm -hmm. All right, what are you going to do? Oh, uh, Any choice is a good choice. One, uh -huh. two, uh -huh. three, I guess. You got it. Okay. Round over. Done. Begin. Five minutes. Okay. Okay. I wish you nothing but terrible luck. Uh, so wow. Okay, you're going to gain a, you're going to gain HP, <laughs> but you don't have to you don't you Oh good, I get a yellow. Uh, wait, 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 wait. wait, wait. No. Do it Put in it back. Order. Put it back. You're going to first gain an HP. You do not have an HP to gain because you have two. So now you're going to have a monster's attack. Go ahead and roll one die. Oh. Roll five. The die. Oh. No, just roll it. It's fine. Five. Still okay. Five. So that's going to be the gazer. The gazer's going to swing at everything around here. So Max is going to die. Yep. <laughs> You've killed Max. You're going to get an AP and a soul. Go ahead and put the AP <gasps> on the green one. The what? The green character on your board there, the top I right. Don't want to use yep. this one? That's the I one. Looks, it's the the far no. right, except next. Yeah, it's right there. For you. Place that there. Put a soul down. You're gonna draw a card here, and the character is increase your attack by one, plus one attack. 
plus one to your attack die. Oh. Yep. Your static attack. Yep. Um, so success there. And that's the gazer, right? So Max went back home. This takes a damage, this takes a damage, mm -hmm. and the dragon is going to take damage. Mm -hmm. Everything matters in order. Mm -hmm. Then we're going to do another attack. Roll the die yep. again. Go ahead and roll it again. So you have the green and the white one. Uh, three. Uh, that is the dragon is going to swing once. Wow. No. You, kill, you killed the gazer. <laughs> You're going to gain an AP and a soul. Oh my Put gosh. the AP on the gazer. <laughs> Which one? It's the one that looks like the gazer. And you're also going to get another loot card. And that is going to give you two mana of any... Oh, no, no, no. Gazer. Increase your defense by one and gain an ascendancy point. <gasps> so you just That's get eight. get an ascendancy point. You just put it eight. on the... Yeah, there you go. <laughs> and, and then he kills that one. This one also dies. Yeah. So it's going to go back to you. <laughs> wow. And you're going to gain one soul for that. And now you're going to gain a resource, and your entire turn is going to have an increase of attack by one. Mm -hmm. And also, like I said before, well, go ahead. I'm going to bring out the Minotaur. Yes. Which gets me to nine. There you go. And that's not all. Go ahead and place it first, though. <laughs> yep. So place out the Minotaur. And just, just to add insult to injury. <laughs> attack the tree. No. Well, yes, you can. But uh, you're going you're gonna to turn those three souls in for an oh, AP. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> and now you have four, three actions. So go ahead and spend them. Might as well. So the game is that immediately? I, I believe it does. Yeah, I think okay. once what you get to nine points. But I want to see what else. Uh, that's no good. You needed, that's uh, five. You needed a three or higher. So we got another attack left. Uh, that's it. That'll yes, do it. That, that kills good. the that treant. Good. That's going to give you another AP, <laughs> another soul, another loot card. <laughs> Uh, increase your defense by plus one. <laughs> and then you have one more action left, but I don't think that one is well, quite he, quite he as now hit eleven. Quite as relevant. <clears throat> how much how much AP are you at? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So you yeah. we actually we actually played the full Ooh. version of the game. Because <laughs> yeah, Caleb actually managed to get all the AP needed. <laughs> we were gonna play the nine, but Caleb was just like, let's go until let's eleven. Go. Because okay. I can do nine, ten, and eleven can this do turn. Four and one. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I thought I was doing well. I thought Callie might take I it thought, from me. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but I did not expect the dragon and the gazer to just do this insane uh, combo. Yeah, you I can't almost... see Caleb's smile right now, but it is big and it is wide and it is excited. I almost got through all of my quest cards. Well done, Caleb. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, let's see. I did not. Well, we'll talk about that in the, yeah. in the outro version where we talk about the game. But anyway, that was the game Ascendancy Quest for Dominance. Uh, yeah, let's let's go to the top up and discuss the game. This this would be the time where I'd have a smoke, but I don't got one. I just uh, it was a it was a sour defeat. So close, so close, several turns. <laughs> Always salty. I was I was gonna. My next thing was to get one soul and to build my mm -hmm. final tower. I felt you know I already had two to begin Maybe with. I was I wanted to be that. up on the the yeah. king of kings and get my. Oh. I was gonna teleport there and just kill the treant, and yeah. I knew you were uh, close. You kept yeah. losing your guardians though. Uh huh. Uh, I, I realized once I saw how she was placing her. Once I realized you could get eight AP from this and mm -hmm. from all the different kills, that's when I realized okay, the game actually is not as long as I originally uh, assumed it to be. Yes. Um, yes. I love being able to summon the creatures. That's mm -hmm. really unique and cool and how you had to kind of strategically place them and all of that. I think we'd, we'd do a lot quicker and better next time, too, now. Uh, yeah. Having played it. Uh, yes, having played it fully correctly. Fully correctly. Yes. Mm -hmm. I played it. I just uh, had some... Played uh, the uh, prototype. Uh, I mean, or more prototype. Even more, yeah. Well, I mean, based on how I interpreted the rules. Um, and it has. this is drastically even better mm -hmm. than before. I mean, I enjoyed it previously. It was just a longer game. Uh, yeah. Basically, the rules uh, we played correctly now. Um, fully, we made it a shorter, a longer, a shorter game based mm -hmm. on. I mean, it's it's so apparent too now that I've seen everything too. It's one of those things. How it's supposed to function, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, so let's discuss the game. All right. 
Uh, I like this game a lot. Like I said in my review previously, I don't. There's nothing that's changed about it as far as my opinion, other than it's it's actually a little quicker and um, it's a little more concise. There's a few little changes that were made um, that made things make more sense, I like the loot cards, I like attacking. There's nothing I really didn't uh, dislike about uh, the game. I mean, it is a luck-based game. It's kind of got a classic feel to it, but overall, it has a lot of uh, little really cool things. I also know. They intend on making different minis. I'm pretty sure for each of the characters, which oh, is pretty cool. Oh, that'll be good. That was one thing I was gonna say. Yeah, that'd be great. Uh, uh, I didn't have a problem really because you could see the bottom bases the colors, with yeah. the characters and whatnot. And mm -hmm. obviously, they won't be res, and these will be nice hard plastic. The minis are great. They're mm -hmm. really cute. Yes, like, uh, the little monsters are fun to bring out. Yeah, the manticores yeah. are cute. <laughs> mm -hmm. There's a lot of mitigation as far as the roles go, mm -hmm. which is nice. Mm -hmm. Dying is a step back, but it's not a. It's an, not terrible. No, yeah. using a soul kind of yeah. sucks, but you're you know you can recuperate mm -hmm. pretty quick. Now the mana shrines work and placements. You know most things are pretty uh, straightforward. Uh, yeah, I, I really enjoyed this game, Kelly. Yeah, it's great. Uh, like I mentioned, love the miniatures. Love moving them around summoning them and doing different things you have a lot of choice in the game which is great there's a lot of different things you can do and interact it's important like some of the things are important but now i know how to better strategize next time which would be great uh, i will definitely win next, next time, time. <laughs> yeah yeah that is very powerful okay what would you think it was fun um now that we know how to play the game i really enjoyed it i like that you can there's there's not like a an instant attack from a monster if you miss so i appreciate that if you miss attacking the monster then it's not gonna not attack gonna you back <laughs> yeah like you don't have this negative like side effect from missing um that was my at goal at the beginning when you said oh well, you can attack for during this turn i thought yeah. that it was more important to attack the and then there's it's, there's a whole variety yeah. of things you can do in this game to gain points. Uh, Max, I love this game. It, I love the aspect you of like the D and D thing. I knew the D and D part of this of critical <laughs> fail or critical success. I also really enjoy that since all of the tiles are randomized when you start the game. Every time you play, it's going to be a different setup and a different mm -hmm. play. Monsters are going to be placed differently, as will the resources, allowing every game to be unique, allowing for. All kinds of. I would say like, that uh, in general, too, more players is better. Yes. Three players, four players. I think four players yeah. where this game shines. Uh, yeah. Oh uh, yeah. It seemed like everybody really enjoyed the game. Um, I hope to see uh, other unique monsters. I hope to see uh, the finished version of this game with all the nice tiles more and character minis. And the character <laughs> minis to be changed a bit. Yeah, anything like that's going to be great. And then the actual like dice. To be, I mean, as a prototype, it works really well. See everything pretty nicely, and you can see the quality and time and effort and care they put into mm -hmm. making this prototype. Uh, very very nice. But yes, overall, Ascendancy is a, a lot of fun. I hope you guys enjoyed the playthrough of the video. Thank you guys for watching another Unfiltered Gamer board game live stream. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and check out where you can pick this game up currently on Kickstarter. There's a link down below in the description. You can also go ahead and like this video, comment on this video, and share this video. Hit that subscribe button and bell notification button as well. Check out the website, unfilteredgamer.com. We have blog posts, giveaways, Kickstarter lists, and more. You can check out our live streams. This one here, we release the videos every Monday, but you can see us stream live every Sunday at 6.30 p.m. PST. We play with Caleb and Alicia and Max, myself, Josh on Facebook and, Callie. and Twitch. That's right. Mm -hmm. And uh, of course, uh, you can see our all of our reviews on, on YouTube and uh, Instagram. We're doing a lot of mini reviews and whatnot on there as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, I look forward to uh, seeing see you, you guys, guys next time. time.